What's the worst thing that can happen to you and I? People will say, death. That's actually not the worst thing. It might just be one of the best things that ever occurred. But you don't know. Man is so weak that we don't even know what lies beyond our planet except that which we have seen and we're discovering more and more on a daily basis. But man knows that there is something and I don't know what exactly it is. And yet he says, if I haven't seen my maker, I don't believe in him. But he knows he hasn't yet seen all the planets. But bottom of his heart, we're going to see them one day. Well, I'm going to see my maker one day too. The one who made all of this. Rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batila. O maker of entire creation, you have not created all of this for nothing in vain just to pass time it's created for a purpose for a reason that's why I'm a Muslim I want to go back to Allah I want to lead a life of discipline I don't want to intoxicate my mind in any way because it's a gift that distinguishes myself from animal I will not have a single intoxicant because I don't want to tamper with that brain that has distinguished me I'm a Muslim therefore I want to respect everyone on earth. That's why I'm a Muslim. I want to stand for justice. That's why I'm a Muslim. These are the teachings of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Anything that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught authentically cannot be wrong. Even if science says something else, science will change over time. It will come back and it has already in so many things come back and confirmed what Allah and his messenger sallallahu have said. So beyond your understanding and mine, a hundred years, two hundred, a thousand years from today, people will discover that, oh, this was actually the truth. I will not allow myself to die in disbelief simply because I did not grasp one concept of that. I will rather surrender and say, if Allah has said it, I believe it.